All right, for the last part of our demo here, uh, we're going to complete our HR solution, um, which, if you recall, last thing we did was create some new positions that we need to hire for. And we're going to hop back into Copilot Studio, where I've started creating a hiring agent that's going to help us close those positions. And the amazing thing about Copilot Studio is it allows you to not only create conversational agents to understand, analyze, take action, but it also allows you to create autonomous action, autonomous agents. So with this hiring agent, I've, I've bound it to the candidate and inform inf uh, interview information um, and headcount information across Databricks and Dataverse that we've been talking about so far. I've added the Dataverse MCP server as a tool for this agent, which you can also add within Copal Studio, but I've also triggered it to take in emails of new applicants and it has instructions to store those uh, as candidates within Dataverse. And it's already been working on this. And so I can ask a question here within the test uh, side chat. I'll say, okay, so all the candidates that we've, you've pulled in process so far, um, you know, which ones have skills in the AI and, M and ML space, which is, you know, if you recall is related to the postings that we had uh, created before. And it uh, rightfully doesn't use any of the servers that I've configured so far, but it also pulls yeah, it pulls from the candidates table um, and it pulls Kate Smith. So she has, she's actually led an AIML team. Um, and now I'm going to say, okay, so like, let's say that I want to uh, act on kind of Kate Smith. Okay, I want to set up some interviewers to screen her. So I'm going to say, okay, like, so, you know, what are, what are the, what are the interviewers available? And that same Dataverse MCP server, uh, that's available, uh, to me that we've seen in GitHub Copilot, we've seen it, uh, in Action and Claude, it's also available in Copilot Studio. And so, um, those same interviewers, uh, they're stored in the Dataverse table. Um, this hiring agent is able to find and, uh, enumerate those as well. So I have multiple interviewers that are available now. And what's also I'm going to show you here is the power of those prompts because I've showed you tables, I've shown you knowledge, I've shown you um, the ability to kind of query and create those. But now what I'm going to show here is what if, okay, like based for Kate Smith here, I want to kind of for the interviewers I select for this screening, I'm going to generate some sample questions based on Kate Smith's background, based on the, the process, uh, based on the job posting. Um, and, and I'm able to do that using the ability to kind of create custom AI actions using large language models. And this was very specifically grounded. And so I caught some sample interview questions for Kate in here. In this case, this is actually using a prompt that has been created within this environment and hosted on the Dataverse MCP server. So if I go to the tools that are available here and I go to prompts, not only can you see, by the way, that there are so many different rich capabilities and tools that you can add to agents everything from MCP to agent flows to prompts to connectors. We're talking about a lot of them today, um, but there's also the ability to create AI prompts. And so what are AI prompts? Well, it was able to generate these interview questions, but let's see how. And I'm just going to go and create a new one. And you're going to see um, what, what you can do with an AI prompts. And what AI prompts do is they turn a large language model into a powerful uh, piece of business logic for your agent. And what's really, really awesome is not only in Copilot Studio and Dataverse, we have the ability to kind of select from the latest of OpenAI's managed models. And we have 4.1 that's coming very soon. But you also have the ability to kind of bring in any model that you've hosted yourself on Foundry. Um, and we even have the ability to kind of leverage some of the latest model announcements from just uh, this week where we have the new rock models that are available too. Um, and so let's say, for example, I want to create a, uh, a prompt that analyzes a resume and job details and maybe provides a recommendation around if a given candidate is qualified. And what I love about this is I don't have to be a prompt engineering expert to write a prompt because I can have Copilot help write the prompt for me. Um, which is, turns out it's very good at doing. And what I can do here is not only can it help me write all the instructions that'll be used for this model here for this, especially this custom AI prompt, but what I can also do is 
um, pass in sample data here, and then I can test it on one. So I'm actually not going to make this a text resume. I'm going to leverage a multimodal model here. So I'm going to say I want this to be an image. So this is going to constrain the models that I have available to me. Um, and I'm also going to upload a sample resume. So let's test it on uh, Kate Smith's sample resume here. And you can see here how easily it is to test if that's the case. And by the way, you can see here that not every model that you can leverage is multimodal. So 401 and 40 that I've selected here, uh, and then let's use 401 in this case, are multimodal, but some of them are just text based. So you won't be able to leverage every type of input for that. But let's say we have the job details here. And so I'm going to go back to Claude here. And I had all the, the job posting details for that job that we entered. And let's see, based off of this, if Kate would be um, a good candidate for um, this uh, recommendation uh, for this uh, job posting. And what I really love here is I can really easily within one interface here kind of test quickly did the prompt engineering, added some sample data, and let's see here. So uh, low to medium match. Okay, so it looks like doesn't necessarily have, it's pretty, doesn't have as many direct experience with some of the things we were doing. So recommendation here will be not qualified. So I could save this prompt, add it right to my agent. And now that agent would have the ability to kind of process and make decisions based on the job recommendation. And you can leverage the latest and greatest models and turn any model into a powerful action for an agent in just a couple of clicks here. And it's just like super, super powerful um, what the power that we're bringing across our tool set. So everything from AI prompts to MCP servers. And what I've also done here is I've added a couple other MCP servers that you can see are gonna be part of me taking further action. So let's go back to our scenario. Um, so we had used a prompt already created to kind of generate some sample interview questions. And now I'm ready to do the scheduling. So um, I'm going to say, uh, I want you to schedule a meeting for this agent, in this case, between Anurag and Kate. Um, and I want you to schedule it for um, in a couple of weeks. Actually, nope, that, let's see here, not the, I'm going to schedule it for tomorrow. And I want you to include the interview questions. Um, all right. And what this is going to leverage is it is going to leverage the Outlook MCP server uh, that I've configured here. So Dataverse comes connected with all of the connectors that we have across the Power Platform and that we have are starting to enable for MCP. And it successfully created a uh, meeting. Um, all right. So... Let's go and it should have created a meeting invite for me here. Let me open up my awesome. And it was created and it should have in the invite all of the interview questions. Awesome. That were created as a part of the process. So what's super awesome about this is let's say that that interview is passed and um, you want to kind of like uh, pursue kind of like actually kind of getting a contract for that. So what we've also done is we've enabled um, third party MCP servers as well. So I can just to kind of show you, um, you know, an example here, I'm just going to like manually uh, trigger the DocuSign server here. And you can see here that DocuSign has a powerful ability to basically create agreements and kind of e-sign. Um, and that's perfect for creating contracts. So in this case, let's say that we want to pursue, um, you know, uh, uh, a, a, uh, an offer for Kate and we're going to, I need to create a contract for that posting that I've, that is, sorry about that. Well, 
it's going to create a bad NDA contract, but um, <laughs> it's going to um, create a, uh, a sample contract um, using the uh, DocuSign MCP server in this case. It's going to pass in all the appropriate information for me. And if it worked, I should get an email invite here. Obviously, the text would not be created appropriately because of my fat finger there. Um, but I got a NDA contract from around this posting that we want to roll out to Kate Smith. And it's not just about this, which is super powerful. Um, so now it even helps me not only with like the kind of like the setup, the the scheduling, the the planning, the interviewing, but even kind of with the closing. Um, and what's also awesome about uh, what we've done with MCP is it's also possible to bring in your own custom uh, MCP servers. And so what we've also done is we've worked with our awesome partner of Latera here. And in this scenario, um, this customer is leveraging Latera to build kind of a, a knowledge graph uh, across the different contact information um, for all of the applicants and contacts. And what's awesome about that is now you can bring in your own custom MCP server. So in this case, we were able to kind of like leverage their MCP server that allows you to essentially query relationships across that graph and maybe see if Kate has other contacts maybe within our company or within our other partners for us to get more information around, um, you know, that, uh, that perhaps onboarding process or even uh, more information prior to closing with her. And the last thing I'll show is it's not about just being able to use this within Copilot Studio uh, and building autonomous agents, but Copilot Studio, every, all of these conversational agents can also be published into Microsoft Copilot. So if I go to Microsoft Copilot here, I can go to that same hiring agent and I have that same powerful set of prompts that are available here for me to use within Copilot alongside all of the other enterprise agents that are available to me. And it's super powerful what we're doing uh, within Copilot Studio. It's super powerful what's possible with Dataverse and the new MCP server backend that we have available to you uh, to configure and leverage across all of your business agents. I hope you've seen kind of some of what the power is today. Um, and I can't wait to see what you all build 